back. We're back. We're back with the New York. You're kind of like a living legend in this area, don't you think? I'm living. You're living. <laughs> yes, this is. Um, so, Shell Shetty, and you are in. Tell us what you do. Okay, I'm an artist, activist, and photographer. And um, what I've been doing, what I've been doing here, and of course, recording our neighborhood uh, as much as I can since I came back from. I know, I have. Where'd you grow up? Well, I was, we, our family was here when I was younger, and then my dad was a semi pro baseball coach, so we moved around. Wow, and, like where? Like what teams? Uh, he was actually, it was a farm team for the Mets. Really? <laughs> so they were Mets? <laughs> yeah, but all these scouts came in from other places. So, um, oh God, one time, well, I was a bat girl when I was six. So I was helping, well, I had my chores. And you were the real bad girl. I was a bad girl. Wow. And luckily, I was only six. I got my mom to make me a cape. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was cool. Well, you know. Swirled it around, held up the bat. This is my moment. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> wow. But, you know, I hate the fact that that brings up the memory of this past weekend, though. I have to just say, I mean, are you going to see the Batman movie? Were you going to see it I anyway? Like, I was invited to uh, one of the premieres, and yeah, the whole thing. I mean, first of all, I want to say that. Um, yeah, I got to say you know, something. Yeah, because it's just such a, a horrific thing, and you just, you know, everything. Because I'm always Sorry. loud. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just, just pay homage to, to the people. Yeah, I want to send any safe. love, everything to anyone affected by that, even and, and on any side. Well, of course, too. I mean, because you have the, the, somebody that will even his family, family too. His family oh. was so shocked, but also there's something that's gone wrong. Obviously, if somebody can do that to other people, and right. here he was a brilliant student, and I then know. somehow something occurred in his eyes, and everything went odd. I but know. he also was a neuro. He studied neuroscience, so he right. was studying himself. His last paper he did was on on DNA signifiers for pathology. So he. Probably was, and then he was withdrawing from his own program. So obviously something wrong. Something Too bad these snapped. people have to harm other people when they do this. But we have such violent inherence in our society. I know. And it comes from the very start. So of our do you society. think Batman had anything to do with it? Batgirl? He, no, Batgirl. No, Batgirl would have taken him out. But yeah. <laughs> but uh, Bat with Batman, he he dyed his hair as a Joker. Yeah. So he wanted to become a cruel trickster. So maybe he's talking about his own life in some way. Oh, well, yeah. let's get back to your life. Yeah. And that, I just want to, yeah. All our thoughts and, and everything going out to people affected, yeah, by, affected this, by All it. this other senseless violence that we have where people attack and harm other innocents. It's just... Ah, uh, it just doesn't make sense. No, and there's no reason. For I it. mean, I'm not into killing bugs, but go no. kill, <laughs> kill a freaking roach or something, you no, know? I, go for I don't even mosquitoes. want to... Mosquitoes. Kill a mosquito. Yeah, they're attacking exactly. us. They're taking our blood. Go, go <laughs> do something. What would you do? What would you want to kill if you could kill anything? Well... When a bug comes in my apartment, I open the window. Me too. I see. Oh, okay. what a nice man. You try man. to inspire them to go somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I hate killing bugs. It's just like with bugs or animals or even people. I mean, but it, none of them can, none of us can help uh, who we are, you know, how we've been born into this world. What we can do is, is decide how we're going to treat others and how we're going to, what we're going to do to in this world and, and how we can create something better. Like art. <laughs> exactly. Brought, You've yeah, got I'm, a lot of art going on. Well, these are some, some panels. I thought I better bring in something because I knew I had, we had some yeah. big time artists in front of me, so I better have something here to offer. And, and yeah. can you talk <laughs> about the pictures? Yeah, sure. Um, these, well, when I did, I've done a, a series of shows and curated some shows. But see, I, so what I've been doing lately is I've been putting um, art photographs onto panels and then Sometimes I'll put them on the whole wall and link them together so it's a seamless series of photographs and images. And this, these are basically about our neighborhood. It's uh, trying to capture the people and the places in all different ways. And it's all the things that, that are part of the vitality. Do you need permission from these people? Well, when you're a street photographer, no. You don't? No, you don't. Okay. It's part of our constitutional right. All right. And when Bloomberg tried to pass yeah. three times that thing saying that people could not stand on the city streets for more than 10 minutes and you couldn't take photos unless you had a liability insurance policy of a million dollars. Right. Um, it's good that ACLU and other people said, no, you don't have the right to tell oh, us not so to stand. somebody stood up to Bloomberg and won. Once. <laughs> uh, yeah, right? I mean, what do you think of this soda ban? I don't even care. I mean, I don't drink soda like that, but I still don't think he should be allowed to tell people not to be able to drink soda. I just think, uh, I think he's gotten into his power mongering, and on the basic thing, yeah, I don't, I don't drink soda. Um, do you? 
Yeah, but on it, occasion, right? But I mean, my dad, ban was, it? my dad was a soda drinker. He always did his RCs and colas and stuff. Mm-hmm. And so what does he want us drinking? Vodka? Well, yeah, I think so. But he wants us to drink vodka inside and then come outside and be really noisy to all the people in the neighborhoods because you can't smoke inside. I know. You know I, I, I still have trouble with that. I don't smoke either. I don't either, but, but I feel terrible for smokers. I think it's, I I think it's about personal responsibility, but also imposition. And once you start telling people and dictating behavior and you're not providing other kind of opportunities and and you're, there's I think it's it just gets into your own personal choice and I think yeah. it gets into your own privacy issues. It gets into a whole lot of other areas where he really has no business being there. But he makes it his business. Of course he does. He's so too, back to you. He's, he's too short. Don't you he's have short. a campaign going I like on short right people. now? <laughs> I am. Do you have an Indiegogo or Kickstarter or Oh yeah, yeah. I have a actually right now I have a Kickstarter um, people can say, oh, try this, you know, whatever, because it's uh, about basically our community and our creative people trying to help each other fund things. And you go through this, uh, there. <laughs> I wrote it down. And, uh, and it, it, it's on for about six more days. And what it is is basically it's like you, you have a project, you have to go through all these different kind of things, register, and then you provide options and you provide rewards for people if they can help you. Now the thing about, and I think it's really wonderful that we're trying to fill a gap that we don't have for our community, our creative community. Because right. there's not funding for a lot of people. A there's lot of people, none. No. And you can be doing like you. Look at what you're doing. We, I mean, we survive on donations. Yeah, I mean, they, God. They dribble in so, on occasion. Donations and maybe beers or vodka, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but we love highlighting all these cool people. We meet the coolest people every single week. Yeah. And it's like, the inspiration. Well, it's so essential, too, because if we don't help each other in as many ways as possible, whether it's putting together shows and events, having our, our stations, it's like, you know, what you're doing with the internet, I mean, how inventive it is to do that, too, and make your own, you know, basically, news waves, you know? I mean, it's absolutely There's so funny. many cool people. I mean, it's infinite. And you would know. Um, <laughs> I get to sit next to them all the time. It's, like, amazing. <laughs> So do you have any favorite photographs that you do? Uh, let's I mean, see. Oh, you know, that's good too. Let's bring well, I do, let's, um, let's yeah, it. because these are basically with people that are even like just, you know, different states because we still do have people that are homeless, need help, or we have our murals. Now, like, you know, I see homeless people out there. Like, oh. Like, not there any longer. <laughs> that was there for a long One time. One of our casualties. And what was amazing about Mars Bar, Divey Bar, on second, and it would be, it was just, you could go in and have art class type of thing. I mean, basically, it was a beer and whiskey place. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. But you could have art classes, and they would change the murals every month. They'd be different murals. So I'd always go by and change them and, and take shots of the murals and do my updates. This one, the ghost bikes for somebody that got killed. Wow. Um, this mural was on the side of Milo's printing, which is not there anymore, and this isn't there anymore either. Uh, actually, where the flea market is back again. Oh, I know where so, that is. Isn't, like, the, isn't that that school? Yeah. It, it has the Mary, funniest name. Mary, Mary Helping of Jordan. Redemption. Or I slept with him, Mary but Helping not you. It's the funniest name of the school. And there are yeah. yeah. this one of the titles. This is The Struggle Continues. And wow. the, this is still in... Um, uh, Lunia, uh, this, this, these are still there, but the pain is going away, and they were there since the 80s. So, um, and this, this one isn't there any longer. When they came in, they kind of were painting away, but the way to, that people recovered our neighborhood for us is fighting for our neighborhood from the 70s on, you know, with our, our gardens and also the murals and, and, you know, kind of recovering empty lots and fighting against all the, the, the drug use that got out of hand and, and there were no police or anyone around to really take care of people, so people took care of each other here. But yeah, do you, have, how long have you been back in the city living? Let me see, when I, I went to school upstate, and then after that I came, I was back and forth in the 80s a little, and then I came back 89 and 90, and became part of Riot Girl. Wow. Yeah. Wow, so what is Riot Girl to you? Riot Girl is about letting people know that they aren't alone, and it's about doing things and working on projects together, letting women know that they have value. Have you heard about that that band, that Riot? Pussy, yeah. Pussy Riot. Pussy yeah. Riot, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Away this weekend, that's all I hear about now. We want to have a Riot Girl show on Ruin Who, like two oh, of them, awesome. September 12th and September 26th. We're going to do a, if you want to be in, a part of helping Absolutely. with that, because we are the freaking Girl Riot 
I mean, you got a free Pussy Riot. Do you know about them? No, I don't, but now I do. Oh, you got to check it out. Yeah. Pussy Riot are these, like, adorable Russian girls that sang this, like, song in a church. <laughs> <About> Putin. <laughs> they wanted Putin to go away. And, yeah. Oh. Yeah, and they got arrested, and now they're in jail. And they're on a hunger strike. Yeah. Uh, it and, shows yeah. the way. I mean, it's a... Yeah, and they were actually yeah. in a church too. So first they were trying to say they shouldn't be performing in a church, but then they actually admitted they didn't. That Putin didn't like what they were telling him. And then like, I think he's related to Bloomberg. Yeah. And people are saying that they have like 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 emotional damage from what they've done. And and one of the girls in the band, I read that one of their fathers is like a very influential high up in Russia. Mm -hmm. And and when they first got arrested, he was like almost like. They deserve it, but now he's like, what they're doing to them, they don't deserve it. Like, he, he flipped his tune. So these girls have been locked up for, for a while now, and and it's getting a lot of a attention. Months, actually. Yeah. Because in the beginning, yeah. oh, a couple months. Yeah. Now, oh, the last two weeks, they've been on the hunger strike. Yeah, I just got a, t uh, someone brought it to my attention this week, and now it's like, that's all I hear about. Like, you know how that happens? Like, you'll start hearing about them now. Oh, yeah. And so will everyone else. Yeah. Pussy Riot, let's free them. Yeah, we're going to dedicate attention. September's going to be Girl Riot Month on <laughs> Ruin Hill. We're going to like yeah. take it by storm. Yeah, yeah. you got to be involved. So so it is National Ice Cream Sunday Day. So we got little fake ice cream Sundays here. And um, yes, would you please share a skeleton from your closet with us? Um, hmm, which one? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> any one you choose. The, oh, wait, wait, the no, naughtiest no. one. Okay. Um, uh, um, I, I once misused my, my Native American heritage. I'll do, I'll do a reenactment. I went, I'll see y'all. Toy cha. And these people ran away from me. That's because they were bullies when we were in one of our places. And it, it, it's, it's Cherokee for it's Oso Toycha, yeah. which it just is about inflection because it basically is saying, hello, how are you? Yeah. And, they, ah. and they looked at me and they said, <gasps> say to you. <laughs> <laughs> Help you yourself. Yeah. Pick an ice cream sundae. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's great. So what's the website, one more time, like the, that is the most important of all for you? The Kickstarter. Right? <laughs> now that you got a mouthful of uh, Kickstarter and on. whatever that is, and it's up for it's on for about six more days. If Have you, you raised a bunch yet? It's hard. I'm not quite halfway because, of course, it's about our artistic community. I know. And it's it's really hard. It's very hard. But um, I put there are different rewards too. I even have like postcard okay. things. These are the pictures Some you've taken. Um, oh wait, I should show you this one. This one's cool. This is in Tompkins Square Park. Wow. Mm -hmm. A new kind of Statue of Liberty. Wow. <laughs> There's licorice in here, man. Um, <laughs> they're all, um, everything turns religious. <laughs> and that's actually Clayton Patterson and Elsa and Ann Hanneman. Wow. This was like Bambi Killers. I love oh, that. Them. Oh, this is um, Lake, for Lakeside Lounge. Not there anymore. And uh, that's a short not there anymore. Mm -hmm. I know everything's closing. That's why we gotta like keep Auto Shopping Head alive. You know, the Poetry yeah. Club closed today. No! Oh, the Bowery oh. Poetry Club? There's Fly. Are you, they're an angel? Oh my oh. god, they're done? Oh my god. Wow. Into a dinner, like a dinner theater place. You know, what's going on, Bloomberg? You know, we. we Dwayne Reed's coming. coming. Where? Dwayne Reed's coming. Times Square? Uptown. Uptown Walmart? Oh. Oh, Are they going to sell bazookas? <laughs> the I don't know. Uh, I don't know. They are. They are. They are. They are. Anti, 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 uh, stuff? Yeah. Well, anyway, for now, we are still the humble little ruin who, in, in auto shrunken head, <laughs> highlighting rising stars and living legends, and anyone with a passion, because we are the underdogs, and you know what? I loved Underdog. We have to, and part of it, you know, what, what I think is important is not only recording things, but also paying homage to people who've done things because none of us would be where we are if we didn't have people who made sacrifices. Exactly. So we're here. still here. We're still here. And who do you pay homage to? Who's like an inspirational artist in your eyes? Mm -hmm. 
Well, there's some, some people that um, I had in some shows. Um, Rebecca Levkoff, okay. uh, Sylviana Goldsmith, Marlies Moomber, they were some people that were here. Rebecca's 90 plus years old and nice. came into street photography. They're living legends for mm -hmm. sure. That's so I mean, cool. Of course, somebody else like Frida Kahlo, you know, yes. yeah. all these other wonderful ones that show their own path and direction and, and, and tell us, be yourself. Doesn't mean you emulate someone you like, you just become yourself. Yeah. Yes. Nice. There's a theme of originality here. Yes. Well, yeah. I'm always eclectic anyway. <laughs> I believe in inclusion always. And um, that's just the way it is. Because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And you never know. Just because somebody doesn't like something doesn't mean it's not good. You know what yes, I mean? Of course. Do you only play music you like? No. Truth. <laughs> Truthfully. You I don't. don't. I don't. I do not just play music. I good for yeah. you. Yeah. You play well, music, yeah, bro. Good, right? I, I, do, <laughs> I told you I do a show called Connecticut Rocks, and it's about inclusion, about playing lots of people. In fact, I will play songs people just send me. I hear it once, and I play it. Good I want for to give you. Give them the exposure. Yeah. And so, like all the musicians that are hanging out right now, you you would be happy to play their music on of your course, station. Of so, how do people find you? Uh, look up Connecticut Rocks on WPKN on Facebook. But do you, do you think everyone knows how to spell Connecticut? That's like okay. a I fuck do. up <laughs> state. <laughs> exactly. And I'm drinking. How do you spell Connecticut? C O N N E C O N I P. Yes, they have that dumbass C in there. I went to school in Connecticut for for almost a year. Yes, I read about it. And I I wrote a song about my little experience. Did you ever hear it choked? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have a I song like called Choke experience. that was banned from Choke, but like kids from Choke found it and wrote to me. You gotta go back to Choke I, and you suck. I know. Oh, that's another. Well, you suck is different. That yeah. has nothing to do with Choke. That's, 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 yes. yeah, that's the one that gets me the most noise. But <laughs> let's talk to you. One more, Shelly. Do you have any last shout outs? Anything else you'd like to. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Also, um, I, I was involved with an un, with Underground Hell. We started Underground Hell. Yes, and I have Allen Ginsberg's birthday. Oh, uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> and I feel so fortunate. And um, yeah, I got a shot of him in his last show. Actually, wow, uh, he was amazing. He, but it was funny because uh, he told he was doing that whole uh, three week sort of series, and so I'd run into him at Alt Cafe, and they kept running into him. He'd always play games on me, and so he said. He, are you coming? You know, wow. whatever. And I said, yeah, sure. So I got there, held, um, what's his name, uh, Burns, uh, Dana Burns' bike when he ran inside and came out. It was just goofy, a whole bunch of people there. Right. So I had my real camera, my flat, my film camera, and he was doing the, uh, the uh, supermarket poem. It was classic, and he didn't really play and perform that too much. And, and then right in the middle, he said I could take whatever, so I did this flash, and then he, asked, he went, oh, oh. And I was like, oh, God, I just blinded Alan Ginsberg, and I jumped on the floor, and he looks over, and he's like, <laughs> made you blink. Oh, <laughs> uh, I like yeah. him. So, so that spirit, you know, yeah. and that part of it, and with the underground house sort of thing of organizing was to be more inclusive, not just be a nice little weekend kind of thing, but right. just be for the whole month and involve people in all kinds of ways. So that site is actually www.undergroundhow.org. Nice, nice. So, We'll come back anytime. Oh, thank you. And thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. We'll be back with more. This is not a love song day. Ruin shoe. Yeah. <laughs>